지금까지 제가 미국 여행을 통해 다녀온 곳들에는 공통점이 하나 있었는데요. 바로 모든 곳에는 풍부하고 다양한 역사가 있었다는 점입니다. 가끔 이러한 역사의 흔적들은 눈앞에 바로 나타나기도 하지만 다른 데엔 직접 캐서 제가 발견해야 할 때도 있었습니다. 과거를 기념하고 흥미롭지만 때론 괴이한 방법으로 역사를 존중하는 불모지라고 불리는 이곳을 통해 다시 한번 역사에 대해 생각해보게 되었습니다. 골드러쉬를 시작으로 서부 개척이 한창이던 시기에 서부라고 불리는 이 지역은 지금은 배드랜드 즉 불모지로 알려진 지역인데요. 이번 화에서는 공룡 뼈조각이 2,000점이 남 넘게 발견되고 공룡 알리기에 힘쓰는 공룡 연구센터, 거대한 돌산에 대통령의 얼굴이 조각된 러시모어산, 옛 서부의 황야의 무법자들이 가득했던 데드우드 마을까지 서부 불모지에서 찾아볼 수 있는 이야기를 함께 알아보고자 합니다. 그럼 오늘도 저와 함께 여행 떠나보실까요? 출발합니다. 자유의 나라 미국 우리에게 가장 잘 알려지고 친숙한 나라 중 하나이기도 한 미국은 다양성, 열정, 그리고 매력을 지닌 50개의 주로 이루어져 있습니다. 저는 한국과 미국에서 자랐고 그후 전문 통역사로 양국의 언어와 문화를 이어온 전솔지입니다. 이런 다양한 매력을 여러분께도 알려드리기 위해 제 발로 직접 뛰어 미국의 전 지역을 여행하고 다양한 사람들을 만나보았습니다. 그럼 저와 함께 미국으로 여행을 떠나보실까요? 사우스 다코다주는 황량한 서부의 일부인데요. 1800년대 후반 이 지역의 무법적인 분위기 때문에 지어진 이름이라고 합니다. 여기서 저는 서부 끝에 위치한 악명 높은 한때 각종 불법 행위의 중심지였던 데드우드라는 도시를 방문했습니다. My name is Daryl Nelson. I'm the exhibits curator for Deadwood History. The town of Deadwood started completely illegally. Uh, this was Native American land by treaty with the government. And in 1874, gold was found. And so Deadwood was, was where the money was for, for decades. And Deadwood also developed its own reputation as kind of a wild place where you can get away with a lot of things. So that kind of situated Deadwood as, a, as an important city in the American Western legend. Right now, the city is in the middle of a revitalization or a remarketing of itself. So the city is taking its, its, its architecture and its character very seriously and doing everything that it can to be honest with that, but be a fun destination to come to. The city is in the middle of a remarketing of itself. 와우. 아 제가 예전에 사실 이 올드 웨스트 사진 촬영을 대학교 친구들이랑 다 같이 한번 한 적이 있어요. 근데 그때 너무 즐거웠던 게 생각나서 이번에도 다시 한번 해볼까 하는데 아쉽게도 이번엔 저 혼자 하게 됐네요. 다양한 테마 중에서 고르시라고 하는데 이렇게 와일드하게 갈지 아니면 옛날 개츠비 느낌으로 갈지 아직 고민이 됩니다. 아무 때나 입어볼 순 없는 옷이기에 특별히 오늘 하루만큼은 살룸 복장을 입어보기로 했습니다. 데드우드 is a concentration in a small place of a lot that happened all across the frontier. So the way I interpret this museum is by seeing the larger story and how it got expressed in Deadwood. And part of it is about guys with guns. We are standing in the section of the museum called Legends of Deadwood. These are the characters that people around the world know about. Uh, they can know very little about South Dakota, but they will know about Calamity Jane and Wild Bill. Like Wild Bill himself, he was known as Wild Bill at the American Civil War. And publishers on the East Coast knew that people wanted to read about the West. So they sent a, someone to interview Wild Bill, wrote this completely outrageous story about him, and he got to be very famous. Most of it was not true, but people wanted that story. Uh, and he was famous. He really was good with a gun. And he did some very brave 
thing. So he was kind of the real deal, but he did not kill a hundred guys, maybe seven. 황량한 서부 시대에 제가 살았더라면 저 또한 때론 목숨을 걸고 싸우며 살아야 했을 것만 같았습니다. Calamity Jane was a woman who lived in a man's world, probably orphaned, and she got by on, on her terms in a rough place. So uh, when she needed money, she was a prostitute. It, it's what she could do. So not a beautiful life, but she was a tough woman, and she she did what she needed to do. She was intelligent in her own way. She didn't have school learning, but she was quick. She was said to be very kind, famously drunk. <laughs> but when she came into town, people knew it. Deadwood was really built by companies, industry, mining, heavy industry mining, and that's what gave the city its life. And these other characters kind of came and went. But the mining is gone, and, and they are still here in our imagination. So maybe that's why they're still important. I am Travis Pearson. Um, I portray Wild Bill Hickok, and we are in the saloon number 10 right now. Good afternoon, fellas. Hey, Wild Bill. Hey, Bill. She sat down and played some cards with us. Yeah, about the time you get out of that chair. <laughs> That ain't gonna happen, Hickok. Just have a seat, Bill. Among friends. Yeah. Well, Bill actually came up here to do some gold mining. Charlie had a claim that he was gonna help him out with and, and uh, be able to earn some money, but that didn't pan out, so to speak. <laughs> All right. So it ended up, uh, he just came to town and played cards almost every day. And Give me a drink, bartender. Uh, ended up playing with a fellow by the name Jack McCall. Bill took all his money. Um, the next day, he comes in and... That kid from last night. Oh, uh, you girl? Yeah, I took every cent he had. <laughs> <laughs> Came in and wandered around the table and went up to the bar and all of a sudden he spun around and then... Take that, Jack, 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 you! Uh, don't none of you spook! <laughs> okay, you shot Wild Bill, get it! Wild Bill been shot! Get out of here! It seems to me that history itself is lost on a lot of today's kids. So, us getting to bring them to it, you know, and we, not only is it rewarding as far as, but the, the kids look at you like you're, bigger than life. I mean, they look up at you like, holy cow, is this guy real or what, you know? Sweet, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, it's a good feeling, it really is. We have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> We are standing near the gravesite of Calamity Jane and Well Bill Hickok. Wow. So and they're... As, as the signs indicate, these are very popular destinations. Mm -hmm. And uh, many thousands of people want, want to see this. They are literally buried right next to each other. Right next to each other, yeah. Calamity Jane asked for that. But there's something very powerful about that idea of being a, a free individual and, and, and doing what you need to do and going to new places and shaping your own life. That's what we think they did. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, it's a powerful idea. And, and it's, it's in the middle of the idea of what it means to be an American. Right. I, I'm individual, I make my own choices. Right, the individuality. Yeah, exactly. 이곳에 대해 더 알게 되었고, 그에 나아가 미국 역사에 큰 족적을 남긴 사람들이 대해서도 알수 있었습니다. 이제 사우스 다코다의 블랙힐즈 지역으로 향하고 있는데요. 여기에는 매년 300만 명 이상의 사람들이 산등성이를 깎아 만들어진 세계적으로 유명한 기념물을 보러 온다고 합니다. My name is Blaine Cordemar. I am a park ranger here at Mount Rushmore National Memorial, and I've been here for 17 years. Mount Rushmore is in the Black Hills of South Dakota and here in the heart of the, the Upper Plains. Welcome to Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
looks just like the pictures, but I, I think it's much bigger than what I had suspected. You think it's bigger? Ah, I think some so. people think it's smaller. Smaller. <laughs> when you zoom it up. Yeah, I mean, some people think it's smaller than what they expected. You know, they think about just like you. Uh huh. They, they heard, they've heard about it. They've seen pictures of it. Mm. But some people think it's larger, it's than, larger they, than, they, than they thought. If they become larger than that, they become one of those <laughs> Buddha sculptures you know, around but the world. They are pretty big. Yeah. I mean, six stories tall for each each president. The original idea person of the carving of Mount Rushmore was a gentleman by the name of Doan Robinson. He was the South Dakota state historian. And the original purpose of a carving in the Black Hills was tourism, to bring more people to the western half of South Dakota, to diversify the state's economy. Now, Doan Robinson's idea was western heroes, people like Calamity Jane, Wild Bill Hickok, Red Cloud, among others. But Gutzon Borgum, when he was brought in as the sculptor, he changed the idea from Western heroes to presidents because he thought it was a, a broader appeal. Borgum chose George Washington for the birth of the nation, leading our nation through the revolution, and then becoming the nation's first president. So the birth of the nation. Thomas Jefferson, our third president, was chosen because he doubled the size of the nation purchasing the Louisiana Territory. And Abraham Lincoln was chosen for the preservation of the nation through the Civil War. He kept us united as a country. And then Theodore Roosevelt is on the mountain for his ability, his trust buster ability. He broke up large monopolistic businesses back in his presidency and made them pay a good wage for a good day's work. All total, his presidency is known as the development of the nation into the 20th century. So Guts and Borgum chose these four for those reasons. 거대한 조각상을 올려다 보며 미국 대통령들이 남긴 유산들을 떠올려 보니 이곳이 더더욱 신성하게 느껴졌습니다. Uh, there are also three tunnels along the Iron Mountain Road, which is directly south of us here. Mm -hmm. That's my, one of my favorite memories as a child, is driving through these tunnels and seeing Mount Rushmore in front of me. I think the sculpture, this memorial, resonates with Americans. I think it's an idea. It's an idea that's represented here at the memorial, an idea of freedom, of liberty, of, of the ability to, to cast your own route in the world and in your life that is unique to this country and to this place. Those four lived their own lives on their own terms. I'm Bill Wall. I work for the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. I'm the paleontologist and curator. Uh, the Wyoming Dinosaur Center is a nonprofit organization where we work on fossils for the greater good of the science of paleontology and for the state of Wyoming. Of the sites on the property, there's 130 plus sites on the property. And we find new ones almost every year. That's very good because you have a lot of material. It's very bad because you have a lot of material. So you have to process all that material out. 그 중에는 공룡의 유적도 포함되어 있었는데요. 수많은 공룡뼈를 볼수 있는 동시에 공룡 전문가 앤드류 로스의 도움을 받아 그 뼈들을 만져볼 수 있었습니다. So this is collections. Everything that we find in our sites comes down here. So all the white sort of blobs you see on the shelves are what we call jackets. When we get bones ready to be removed from the ground, we cover them with burlap strips that have been soaked in wet plaster that makes a nice hard shell around the bones, keeps them protective from when we move them. So we've got thousands of dinosaur bones that we just haven't had time to get to yet. I mean, you guys lay out bones like this so casually, but I know they're actual real dinosaur bones. That's the coolest part, I think. No, it never gets old. <laughs> yeah, except when you glue your fingers together, that can get old. <laughs> That's right. 뼈는 선반에서 옮겨져 실험실에서 조심스럽고 느린 과정을 거쳐 청소되는데요. 정말 진귀한 광경이었습니다. The lab work involves being able to do puzzle pieces if the bones are broken. Sometimes you get specimens in they're not in very good condition. So there's physical preparation, there's dental picks, there's air tools which are like micro jackhammers. The formula is real. For every one hour in the field digging, there's six hours of lab work. 
공룡뼈 청소는 많은 시간, 인내 및 집중력을 필요로 한 일이었는데요. 혹시라도 청소 중 손상이 있을까봐 무척 조심했습니다. 마무리 단계에서 굉장한 피로를 느꼈지만 결과를 보니 피로가 풀리는 게 느껴졌습니다. Nearly everything you see in this room is stuff that either has been found in Wyoming or could be found in Wyoming. So most of the major dinosaur species you know when you see in the movies and the TV shows, they are, were either first found in Wyoming or they're best known from the specimens that were found here. Oh my gosh, exciting. So this is a oh Camarasaurus. Gosh. It's one of the most common big plant eaters that we find in our sites. And all the bones came from one of our sites on the property. This is what we call the side sauropod. But what's really cool is that this wasn't dug up by a team of trained paleontologists like most dinosaur bones are. <gasps> Every single bone on this mount was discovered and excavated and removed and prepped in our lab by our visitors with our summer programs. No way. When the families come out here, they have to move dirt, they have to collect bone, and they have to, uh, personally, I think they, they should feel like they're working on something significant. It's very hands-on, so they expect to get dirty. We take groups out every day during the <gasps> summer to work in the sites with us. Wait, they, you're saying then, then there are a lot of still bones to be excavated? Oh, countless bones to excavate. In this part of the town? Mm-hmm. Wow. We've been digging here for about 25 years now, and in that time we have found over 20,000 bones oh in the handful of sites that we've opened. And I would say there's at least two to three times as many waiting for us in the hillside, and that's probably a low estimate. <laughs> 티라노사우루스 렉스와 같이 거대한 공룡을 가까이에서 보는 건 특별한 경험이었는데요. 곱게 서 있는 공룡도 볼수 있었고, 버스만큼 긴 꼬리를 가진 공룡도 볼수 있었습니다. 그렇지만 특히 그 중에서도 와이오밍 공룡센터의 자랑인 이것이 가장 놀라웠습니다. So this is our one of our star attractions here. This is the Thermopolis specimen of Archaeopteryx. There are only 12 known specimens of this dinosaur in the world. Wow, and you have one of them? We do. And because you know, we make it so accessible, scientists come from all over the world to look at this block in particular, it's one of the most scientifically valuable specimens that's ever been found. But then if you look closely at the impressions, the lines along the tail, those are the impressions of the feathers that would have covered this guy's body. So this is the very first feathered dinosaur that was ever found. It was up for auction, and we made a very conscious effort to say we're going to keep this in the hands of science so it's always available, but we want to have it in our museum. That's why worldwide it's known as the Thermopolis specimen. Wow, that's cool. And also why it's behind bulletproof glass. This <laughs> is not just one of the most I important it, fossil <laughs> discoveries, it's one of the most important scientific discoveries in history, and mm. we're extremely fortunate to have such an important piece of history right here in our museum. The Wyoming Dinosaur Center is a very hands-on, rough, raw place. Nothing is polished, clean, and been reworked by someone else. You're getting a hold of something that's new and different. So, you know, the Walt Whitman, you know, the rough new prizes, follow the rough new prizes. That's what we're doing. We're finding something new out here almost on a daily basis in the summer. So, that, that's what interests me. 여행 중 다양하고 특이한 동물은 많이 봤지만 정말 고대 선사시대 생물은 차원이 달랐습니다. 돌이켜보니 데드우드에서 굉장히 즐거운 시간을 보냈는데요. 황량한 서부의 일부가 된 듯한 느낌이 들었고 이곳의 황량한 명성을 만든 사람들과 전설을 경험할 수 있어 더더욱 즐거웠습니다. 블랙힐즈에서는 신성한 산에 새겨진 미국의 가장 영향력 있는 대통령을 마주할 수 있었는데요. 엽서에서나 볼수 있었던 광경을 직접 눈으로 볼수 있는 게 너무 신기했습니다. <목소리> 공룡 유적지를 본 것만으로도 이 불모지에 올 충분한 이유를 찾았고 또한 과거에 대한 깊은 감사를 느끼며 동시에 미래가 기다려졌습니다. 앞으로 가볼 목적지에서는 또 어떤 일이 일어날까요? 어디로 떠날까요? 기대되는 마음으로 함께 가시죠!